in the front corners of each lab, you'll find an eyewash station and a safety shower. To operate the eyewash station, just push the handle and all of the covers should open up. If they don't quite make it, you can give them a little flip and your eyewash is active and ready to wash out your eyes. For the safety shower, well, I'm not going to turn the safety shower on because I don't need to take a safety shower right now, but here's the safety shower handle. If you pull that straight down, water will come rushing down. One thing to be a little careful of with the safety shower is if anybody needs to use it, the floors in here are probably going to get quite a bit slipperier than they are right now. So if anybody needs to use that safety shower, watch your step and make sure that you don't fall down. There's also an eyewash station at each of the sinks. These are on a hose so they can be pulled out and squeeze the handle, water will come out. If you want to lock that handle in place, there's a little ring there that locks it kind of like a garden hose. When you're finished using an eyewash or checking an eyewash, always put it back in its holder and flip the dust covers closed. Also located in the front of the room are some other fire extinguishing devices. First of all is a fire extinguisher. So in our labs, we have fire extinguishers that are type ABC, suitable for paper and woods, liquid fires, and electrical fires. Extinguishers aren't really that difficult to use, but it's usually best if they're used by someone with a little bit of training. So if you have training and there's a fire, go ahead. Otherwise, it's probably best to leave your instructor or the lab assistant work on that. The other thing you see up here is the large red box, labeled fire blanket. Fire blankets are fire resistant blankets that, as their name implies, can be used to smother a fire, but they're used for a lot of other things as well. So all fire blanket cases should have a loop out there. This is connected to the blanket, so if I need it, I can grab the loop, and I should be able to pull the blanket out and if I needed to, I could hook an arm in it and wrap it around myself a little bit. Now, putting out fires really isn't the best thing that these are used for, but there are a couple of other things that the fire blankets are really good at. If somebody's using the safety shower, they're probably going to be, at the very least, cold and maybe a little in shock, embarrassed, other things. So. Having a fire blanket around to wrap them up after they're finished using the safety shower is a good thing. Anytime there's a situation where someone might be in shock, if you need to warm somebody up, fire blankets work really well for that. So those are in the big red box, and looks like I've got to rewind this one so it's ready to spool out if we need to use it again. Each station in the lab is designed to accommodate two students. There are a number of drawers available, but the only one that we're going to be using is the unlocked one, the top center drawer. Your drawer should contain most of the things that you're going to need for a typical experiment. We've got a rack of large and a rack of small test tubes. We've got a number of different size beakers nested somewhere in the drawer. We've got some eyedroppers. Those will come in handy for some of your experiments. Erlenmeyer flasks. Those are the cone-shaped flasks. A couple of funnels that will help us out, some watch glasses, stir rods, and a rubber policeman. That works like a little spatula for getting solids out. A couple of graduated cylinders, some other spatulas, and a water bottle. Each station also has a computer with a LabPro interface. LabPro is the interface that we use to connect all of our measuring devices, our temperature probes, our conductivity meters, and all the other things that we're going to use to take measurements in the lab. So that's what's available at your spot. At various times, other things will show up here when you need them for a specific experiment. Your lab goggles are in many ways the most important piece of safety equipment that you're going to use in lab. But it's not always convenient to have to think about bringing them back and forth and quite often if we made you do that, you'd probably forget them. So 
you have the option to store your goggles in the lab. On one side of the lab there should be a bank of drawers labeled for the different class times. During your class, this drawer should be open, available, and unlocked. You can leave your goggles in here when your class is over, when your lab is finished. The drawer will be locked up until the next time lab starts so that your goggles are secure. Now, if everybody's going to put their goggles in there, better make sure we label them somehow. And it's not a bad idea, too, to keep the box or the bag that the goggles came in so that they're not all just bouncing off of each other in the drawers.